A year after gunfire erupted at a youth baseball game in North Charleston, the trauma for many still has not gone away. Like for Blake Ferguson, whose son was at the pitcher's mound that night, his wife holding their three month old child. Molly McBride spoke with the family and tells us what's changed over this last year. Blake Ferguson tells me for the first few weeks after the shooting, their children slept on their bedroom floor, too scared to even use the restroom by themselves. He tells me his wife still jumps at the sound of a balloon popping to this day. He says they no longer play North Charleston Recreation Baseball because they never want to play at Pepper Hill again. But baseball isn't the only thing that's changed for the family. I mean, if I sit in a restaurant now, I want to sit in a place where I'm facing the door so if something happened, I can react. If we're in a movie theater, no matter where I, we're at now, it definitely has affected me because you don't know when this is going to happen. You don't know who it's going to happen to. Ferguson describes the video taken that night of shots ringing out as young baseball players took the plate. Every time you first watch it, you see the reaction and I think it's fireworks or something because they haven't been around gunshots. He says he's proud of the way the players and the coaches handled the shooting. Army crawling to the dugout and waiting until officers arrived. And even though the family has switched teams, his son's love for the game remains. He's a great player and loves it more than anything. Every weekend we're out on a ball field. So yeah, I'm glad that that event um, didn't scar him from playing the game that he loves. The investigation into the Pepper Hill shooting remains. North Charleston police officials tell me they have multiple suspects. They're just missing a couple pieces. Who shot and who shot first? Anyone with any information is asked to contact the department. We have that phone number under this web story at live5news.com. Reporting in North Charleston, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.